How to make four part emotes for Twitch. Coming up in this video, stay tuned. What's going on guys, Leon Bratt here. And just before we get started, if it's your first time here on the Leon Bratt Music Channel, I'd like to say a huge welcome. It's nice to have you here. My name is Leon Bratt. I'm a singer songwriter and a loop pedal artist from the UK. I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And I also post here on YouTube twice a week. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any future content just like this one. This is how to make four part emotes for Twitch. Nice and easy. This method is the easiest with Photoshop. However, if you haven't got Photoshop, you can do the same thing with paint. So here we go. This is one of my emotes. This is called the face. And this has been used on Twitch quite a lot. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a four part emote to it just so people can have a bit more fun with the emote. And uh, yeah, it was it was a great idea. It was a great idea to do. So this is, this is how we do it. I have already done a video for you where it shows you how to make emotes from a full scale picture. I would recommend watching that one first and coming back to this one because in this video, I'm gonna actually skip the first steps which are getting rid of the background and getting your emote ready for the four part emote. This image is actually a full scale image. It was a 1080p image. And all we're gonna do now is just add in some lines across and straight down the middle, all in the center. So all I did for that was come over to Google and I think I just put in, I literally put in line and went right click, copied image on that. The next step is to then come over to your rectangular marquee tool here, highlight all of that, make sure you've got this layer selected, copy, and paste and bring it into the center again. And then I'm gonna hit Control and T just to get that right click and then rotate clockwise like so. Then I can bring that into the middle just like that. Make sure you save this as this file here just so you've got it spare just in case anything goes wrong. Then what we're gonna do is click on the crop tool here Select the top left side of the emote, click enter. The next thing you want to do is come over to your layers and just turn off the two layers, which are the lines going down and the lines going across. So we'll just turn those off and there we go. There is your first part for the emote. So now what we've got to do is save for web. So if we just click control, shift, alt and S, that will bring up this box here. Make sure the preset is set to PNG 24 and the same here with transparency. And then image size, you wanna put that to 112. Hit enter. This usually should say 112 by 112. If you have different numbers, just click on unlink and then you can change this one to 112. Click enter. And then we click save. We are gonna be saving all of these emotes as three different sizes each. That is 28 by 28 pixels, 56 by 56 pixels, and 112 by 112 pixels. I'm gonna call this the face. And then we can do one, you can have to do one or top left. Let's go the face, space, top left, space, 112. Save. Control, Shift, Alt, S again. Come down here, 56, enter, save. Then we can just click on that one there and then get rid of this, 56. There we go. Control, Shift, Alt, S. Change this to 28, save. Click on this. Change the 56 to 28 and click enter then we are done for the top left emote. Next, now we need to go and do the top right. So let's go back. If we click Control, Alt and Z twice, that will bring the picture back up. And then all we need to do is crop once again, crop the top right hand side, just like that there. Enter, and then we wanna get rid of the lines again just like that. And then we do the same process. So Control, Shift, Alt, S. Change that to 112, enter, save. Then we can change the face here and then we just go top right, 112. Save, Control, Shift, Alt, S. Change this to 56, enter. Last one, 28, save. Click on that again, 
28. And then to get back again, we go Control, Alt, Z, and that will bring that back. You might have to press Z twice. You might have to just press it once. There we go. All you need to do is follow exactly the same steps for the bottom left picture and the bottom right picture, just so you have all the three sizes, the 112, 56 by 56, and 28 by 28. That is how to make four part emotes for Twitch using Photoshop. Let's head over to Twitch now and let's go and get them uploaded. Here we are, twitch.tv. Now we are gonna come over to the top right click on create a dashboard, click on preferences and then partner. Although this may say affiliate for you, then you're gonna come down to the emotes section here and you can see I have already uploaded mine, but if you come down to the bottom, click on advanced and then you are going to say, this is top left. So we're gonna go the face top left, bring that 112 into 112, just drag it in and then 56 into 56 and 28 into 28 and then unique code the face top left for example click save changes and then they will be uploaded just like this now if we go over to my twitch channel and now we go into the emote section Let's click on Leon Brat the face one and two. Enter. And then we click on three, four, enter. And there is your four part emote just there in the chat. Nice and easy. That's gonna wrap up today's video. So thank you very much guys. If you did enjoy that and it did help you, then please do smash that thumbs up button as hard as you can. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more content just like this every single week and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any future upload as well. Don't forget I stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. I will see you next week for the next video. You stay safe, take it easy. Peace.